What's up, everybody? It's Professor T, and we are back with some more reacting to some new music, Undiscovered Musicians. And we're finishing out with a free agent, my baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. So we're going to finish out the month, last three days of the month, with the last three singers I've scoured Facebook, SoundCloud for, and we're going to do High Jinx. And this is her song, Hollow. She did not have a bio. So I don't know much information about her, uh, but without any further ado, let's get into this song and we're going to see what it's about and we're going to talk about it. Let's get it. You, you make me want to feel your touch what? when we're close. I can feel my blood rush. What? We both know I'm excited. that I'll be gone tomorrow. What? So take me home and feel me when I'm high. What? You make me what? 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 I can feel my breath. What you gonna do? We both know what? That I'll be gone tomorrow. Okay. So take me home. Yeah. Me Go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. I see it like a dream. Imagine me on top of it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Let me do the remix. Let me just be your hype man. Love back to the truth. This is pretty good though. I've been playing no cap. So the breakdown and the beat, this is definitely like a 2005 Soldier Boy type beat. It's got this very simple, very like FL Studio version 9. Nothing wrong with that though. I'm just saying it's very, you can hear what I mean. It's very simplistic with the sounds and like the, not a lot of layers happening. But she. But for, for how little that's going on, she used it well. The face tracking on my camera is going crazy. I don't know how to turn that off. Just deal with it for, for now. The next, on tomorrow's video, it'll, it won't be, <laughs> there won't be a square around my face. Just like I'm your queen. Yup. Tonight, give me everything. Yup. And if I am pleased. Okay. I'm not just a bad Whoa, okay. You know that there's nobody else. Okay. Just like me. Okay. Make me wanna feel your time. Yeah. When we're close, I can feel my blood. Okay. Okay. I'll be got to my What? It's clear to me that she's probably not from America because she has a thick, or at least she's an expat because she has, a, has an accent that does not sound like anywhere in the United States or Canada. Like I said, I wish she had, I had a bio on either the YouTube or um, SoundCloud page so I could learn a little bit more about her. Okay, what you gonna say? Whoa, oh, oh. Okay. So she has some layering on the vocals that's going on too. That's pretty cool. She's doing a good job though. I mean, I think this is the, the outro. And this part here, it's got like some little counter, uh, what do you call it? A polyrhythm going on. I like it. It's like in a round, actually. I take it back. It's like singing in a round. Like, roll, roll, roll with your boat. You know what it's all about? We go in a round. Yeah, I like it. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Hold on. I messed something up, guys. I'm Alright, I'm just going to play that off like nothing happened. So I'm going to edit that out. So, my thoughts on the track. I thought that this track, she did a really good job. This was amazing. It was really good. I thought it was really cool. So, to, to break it down, it was just definitely like an R&B type flavored song. And um, what I liked about it, I think that is cool how 
like I said, it's definitely like you could tell. There's like it sounds like she's using like FL Studio version eight or nine on there because it's, those sounds are very familiar and very basic. I feel like I'm talking super loud right now, but that's that's a good thing because I always talk too quiet. But but yeah, I I like that. That was cool. I liked uh, also how with the vocals, how it was layered. So there was a lot of different types of things that were going on. I like this song itself. I think it was hot. It was sexy. It was cool. And um, like I said, I wish she had a bio because I would like to know more about her. Because she's, she sounds like she has an accent. Like she's from a different part of the world than I am. So uh, hopefully if you... Uh, hi Jinx. If you see my reaction to this, please... Check in down below in the comments. Let me know a little bit about yourself. Tell me a little backstory in the song. Um, so now we're going to get on to the critiques. So for the critiques I would give for this one. Um, I would have to say. Um, with the beat. Even though I complimented it. Because I thought that it was it sounded good. You did a lot with a little. Because it wasn't a lot that was happening. But you, you made it work really well. And you... You squeezed out the most that you could out of what you had to work with on that instrumental. I would say that's a critique. Uh, that instrumental, you if you want to grow as an artist, you do eventually have to move outside of that. Unless that's what you're trying to do on purpose, which is cool. That's fine if you want to be simplistic. Ignore that white square on my face. For tomorrow's upload, I won't have that. It'll, I'll figure out how to turn that off. <laughs> um, other critiques for the vocals. When I do this, I never just check out just the one song. I, I, like I said, scouring is the right word. I'm usually going through a lot of stuff. I've checked out some of your other songs. With this one, I think it's the best uh, work that you've done. But for some of the other ones, the vocals, it doesn't... It's not perfectly like in key all the time. So I would say that's the only other critique I would say. You know, maybe a uh, plug for myself, shameless self-endorsement. Go check out the songwriting workshop on my channel. Uh, if I remember to do it, I'll link it at the end of this video for you guys to check that out if you're interested. Uh, episode 2, Part 2, you guys are going to see um, me talking about pitch and how to be in pitch with the uh, music. There's a very simple guy. So that's really the only two critiques. Uh, just lose a little bit better. Uh, use a little bit better song for number one. And number two, the, the uh, singing, make it a little bit more like with the key of the song. So now... We're going to take it to the Professor T Billboard Charts. And we're going to see where it ranks. That was a loud one. Oh, my God. I'm going to get a text message. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't have too many of these to do today. I, I just... <laughs> I'm caffeinated right now. I just I just drank some Mountain Dew. So, I'm caffeinated. All right. Let's go to the chart. Let's see what I, where I'm going to put it at. So, the chart... I like this song a lot, believe it or not. So... Um, where would I put it at? It's at least moving into the middle of the pack, but I feel like I would go higher than that. So I, um, I'm moving it up into this tier where it's just beneath the top 10. So we're going to start around here. I know I like it more, more than dreaming. I think I like it more than reply. I like it more than I wish. I like it a little bit more of the trip. I think this is pretty fair. It's like around fade away. Uh, do I like it more? Do I like it less? Uh, it's even. It's even. I guess this is what I would do. Do I do I like it more than J. A. Wilde's trip? Then I like it less than Forest Chapter 14. Oh man. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna put it under fade away. So that's what I feel like I'm gonna go. So you come in number 13 on the Professor T Billboard chart. As I always say, this is not a reflection on the quality of the song. This is a reflection on my preference and how popular I think it would be for me to recommend to others. So he ranks in at number 13. And real quick before we close out this one, there is some other movement to report. So after listening, oh, actually stuff is missing from here, so I had to fix that. After uh, listening, though, there is some movement. There was a song that I did that I put um, a little bit lower than I, where I would put it at now and some other stuff. Also, uh, I actually, after listening to more stuff, Corey James Dreaming, it's no offense to you, 
but you actually have moved down on the billboard chart because in my personal preference i just feel like there's other songs that have come out that we've reviewed and covered here that are a little bit more deserving of um your spot so you actually will be moving down below okay anthony casuccio's friends first and then right above recluse i'll fix it for the uh tomorrow's video um i'm gonna put in the song millennial rain way up high it'll actually take number 17 and bump john rizzo's recluse down after thinking about it some more all right so we're gonna go back to my beautiful face to close this video out great job i like this song a lot everybody at home you guys go check her out uh, i already like comment and subscribe Everybody check it out and do the same. Make sure you support her so she can make more music. Knows that she's doing an awesome job. Shout out to all the women that are making your own original music. And we're going to finish out this month strong with a couple more tomorrow and on Wednesday. And uh, like I always say, we, we're not doing just sitting in your bedroom playing the guitar. You're doing a cover. This is original. Originals. That's how we're doing over here. We got It's got to be original. It's got to be a fully complete song. So with that being said... To hijinks, to all of you watching at home, I've, uh, shoot, <laughs> I'm out of practice. So to hijinks, to all the people watching at home, love what you do. I had a great time listening to this song, and I hope that all of you did too. And I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I'll see you on the next review.